Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Chicago Bulls. Pass to Paxson. Here's Jordan. Garnett with the block. Here's Rondo. It's hauled in by Pippen. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Nice effort taking the early lead. Here we go. Ah, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. Here's Garnett. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Yeah, there's no excuse right there for not covering one of the guys on the floor. And that's Rondo around the rim where he can score. Now here's Jordan. Stolen by Pierce. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Allen leading the charge. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, Posey, one of the few guys in NBA history to have played more than 82 games in a regular season. He actually played 83 one year after getting traded midseason. So he gets them both. First quarter, just over a minute played. Pass to Grant. It's Jordan on the wing. Right wing. Hits the J after faking out the D with the quick up fake. Yeah, and when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Allen shot is off. Jordan with the bucket. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Garnett, right side. Lays it up and banks it in. And when Garnett gets it that deep, the D is at his mercy. How about the extension when he's able to get up on that low block? Here's Paxson. And here is Jordan. Kevin Garnett with the steal. To the middle. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. But they recover it. Poked away. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Garnett. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Six on the shot clock. Inside. Grant. And the dunk by Grant. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Allen outside. Pass to Garnett. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Grant, guarded by Garnett. He gets it in there. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Down low, kicks it out to Allen. Celtics passing it around. Here's Garnett, and it's slammed in by Garnett. And how fierce is Garnett down low? I mean, when he's close to the basket, he is aiming to make a statement. 
here's Jordan in the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Stolen by Grant. And a wide open look for Jordan. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Jordan's got 10. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Pass to Posey. Here's for three. Knocks down the three ball. Yeah, and how about Pierce there? Immediately squares himself up from outside. Always prepared to rise and fire. Here's Grant. And he makes good on the layup. He has six. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Here is Armstrong. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Bulls shooting their first free throws of this game. And both free throws good for Armstrong. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. And now. Allen for the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And this is Allen's game. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. Amazing shooting off that pass. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. It could go. And it's in. Oh, wow. He nails the buzzer, Peter. One eye on the rim. One eye on the clock. Nice job. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with the wristwatch. And we'll be right back after this. Game through the first quarter. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. Just playing some real gritty defense right now, just getting up in bodies and forcing a lot of turnovers. Here's Armstrong. And Davis pulls it down. Celtics leading by four. Back to Garnett. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Here's Rondo. Garnett trying to break loose. Rondo, no good. Bulls trail by four. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Jordan slams it home. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. That one good for two. And that's now 10 points for Kevin Garnett. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. King outside, pass to Jordan, over Pierce. Jordan can't get it to go. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Here's Davis, off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And the basket by Livingston. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. King left side. It doesn't go for him. And the Celtics going the other way now. Outside Pierce. To the inside. Garnett. 
and it's slammed in by Garnett. Started making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot. Bulls trail by 10. Left side, Jordan. Here's Cartwright. Here's King. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's on Tony Allen. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Perkins with the bucket. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. The Bulls shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. Free throw good, Jordan. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Scalabrini. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And stolen by Perkins. Here's Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Over to the left wing. Here's Scalabrini. And another basket for Boston. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, pass to Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. Scalabrini. And the layup's good off the glass. Scalabrini's got the lead up to 12 now for the Celtics. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Here's Cassell. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. And Scalabrini gets it to go. Scalabrini's got eight. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Pass to Cartwright. Tries from 16. And stolen by Jordan. Over Cassell. And again, no good by Chicago. Austin leading by 14. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. He gets that one. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. It's Jordan on the wing. Missed inside. Here's Allen. And Allen slams it in. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Celtics lead by 18. Third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Chalk up two there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cassell's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Celtics. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. And it's Allen slamming it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Celtics leading by 22. Pass to Scalabrini. Falls, great assist by Sam Cassell. 
Scalabrini's got 10. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Now here's Pippen. Over Posey. That's short off the rim. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. They have a good plan going right now, and they're starting to create separation. The game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Nobody near Allen. No good with the triple. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here. Oh, the power on that Bruda. Goodness. Unreal. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. And Scalabrini gets it to go. Uh, he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic, which struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now sports is a microcosm of society as a whole. All are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, DA. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Boston now. Outside Rondo. to the wing down to five on the shot clock that one drops for him well if it ain't broke don't fix it they keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently fires the three and John Paxson good for three Paxson's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three here's Poe and he jams it with authority. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Get open, get open. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Armstrong, and it's off from three-point range. In a fast break now for the Celtics. Allen, that's good. Allen's got four points now in the quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Connects from three-point range. And although point guard size, he does feature the touch of a shooting guard. B.J. showing off his range. The Celtics shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And Allen, just an incredible defender. Has a grit and grind mentality and uses his speed and strong hands to just annoy offensive players. Here's Armstrong. And it's sent back by Allen. Clock at four. Purdue tried to bank it in, but he misses. For the three, Allen's shot is off. Now the Bulls with it. That's tipped. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. It's hauled in by Purdue. Chicago with the ball. Here's Grant. Second shot opportunity. Pippen misses. And now here's Rondo, the fast break opportunity. Locked up there for Allen. Hammers the alley-oop through. 
Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Armstrong. 